going to try to do this on the camera. Uh, not going well. I think I'll do it off camera and come back. Hello, plant friends. Welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I told you guys that I have had other struggles with my Monstera Deliciosa and that other struggle was getting thrips. So uh, in today's video, I will cover um, with you how we got thrips, uh, what I did as treatment, and how we're recovering from it. How did I get thrips? We got thrips uh, from uh, a plant that I purchased uh, uh, exactly where I purchased uh, this monster. It was a big um, box uh, store. So um, when I took uh, this plant home, it looked fine. It was a small monstera and it was, you know, nothing to be concerned about, no damages. So uh, I didn't, you know, I, even though uh, it looked okay, I isolated it. After I took it from isolation, uh, when that new leaf unfurled, it really um, still had um it had a was kind of dull and then it had a, a a light brown spot on it and um i took it um you know put it aside i didn't know what the light brown spot uh i was probably thinking at the time that it was just uh wood what or something like that. Maybe it was watered too much, but I was just waiting to see uh, what action to take next. Then after um, uh, a day or two, um, it was still looking dull. From that same spot on that new leaf, I saw a bunch of little white, uh, um, creepy little uh, thrips. And it, they had just hatched, I think, when I uh, saw them. And I took the plant out immediately. And I cut that leaf, put it in trash. I didn't want, you know, I was really creeped out. <laughs> so I uh, took action immediately, cut that leaf, put it in trash, and um, didn't really know much about thrips. Uh, I've heard uh, in a previous video, but I didn't know how the life cycles and all that worked. So I didn't uh, think anything much since I cut that leaf. And I still didn't uh, um, put it with uh, my other plants. It was in a corner. Uh, the aerial woods of my big monstera was um, in the way. So um, it was uh, on the floor, just dragging on the floor. And I think that's how it probably picked up something. So I'm going to insert um, a few clips of when it happened. So those are all the clips. Um, you're going to see how, what... Um, what happened. So I started noticing some stuff with uh, my Monstera and uh, that's when, um, but it's really when the new leaf uh, came out that I realized that this one had thrips. So um, it's always the new leaf. Uh, so for some plants, I don't know if it is for all plants, even if they were if you go to a nursery and you see that it was treated, um, if, uh, if it was treated for thrips, it might look great on the outside, but you always have to watch out for that new leaf. So, uh, because um, it will always, if the, especially if the soil was not treated properly, it will come out in that new leaf. So, I'm going to insert an old clip of what the new leaf uh, looked like and um, 
So what I did for the new leaf, I uh, put some neem oil on it uh, on that very same spot because I didn't want to cut that uh, leaf. So I also lost um, two other um, two other plants. I had uh, Monstera adensoni that I lost, and um, and I also had uh, Raphidophora that I also lost. And I think I lost those plants because every time they pushed uh, new leaves, they were just too damaged and it was becoming too much for me to deal with along with this monstera. So um, I decided to, to just trash them because I didn't want a bigger infestation in my hands. So I think those, uh, the Raphidophora, the Adensoni, and one um, spider plant that I had, they were, they were the ones that, are, that were the most affected. I also had one um, pothos that was affected as well, but uh, it's just, you know, some of the uh, leaves were damaged, but as soon as it pushed like a few other, it never stopped growing. And then as soon as it pushed uh, some of that, um, some other leaves, it's just bounced right back to, to itself. So as you can see, the new leaf has completely unfurled. I think it's still in the process of growing. It is beautiful. However, I have some damage up here. And, uh, and also on this side right here, this one doesn't look to be substantial but over here uh, as soon as I saw the damage I thought uh, it could have uh, thrips it was very soft and the color wasn't right so I applied some um, neem oil right away but uh, it turned it black so I'm still debating whether I want to cut it or just uh, let it dry so I'm monitoring it if it doesn't have uh, any insect on it I will definitely let it dry if not I'll go ahead and make, uh, make a little uh, incision and uh, call it a day so ever since I applied the neem oil so the affected area turned black so uh, if you see on this this is the remaining oil but the dark dark uh, part is definitely uh, something was going on in there uh, it didn't look but it's just uh, whatever was going on the neem oil just uh, turned it black so um, it's not looking very pretty, so I'm going to cut it. I'm going to try to do this on the camera. Uh, not going well. I think I'll do it off camera and come back. Uh, so far, I've removed uh, this part that was very dark. There's one little one remaining um uh, gonna try to remove that and there's like another spot right here and um, 
not sure yet it's kind of a bit lighter so those are the spots that I'm afraid that have you know that might have some uh, thrips uh, hidden in there so the new leaf uh, always have some when they damage or affected by um, thrips some of them have some light spot and that's why I usually apply neem oil to make sure that I remove um, that it doesn't spread so uh, I'm going to attempt to remove this dark spot right here so so far I've removed those two dark spots and uh, I'm just going to clean it with uh, some neem oil again the plant is really tall now I'm just like so close to the top and uh, holding the camera is just very difficult uh, to do this at the same time so I'm going to stop it and then clean it So this is the first leaf when uh, uh, we actually had thrips. So it was up to this one. And this, for example, is, um, you know, that bump on it is thrip damage. And the way this curls, uh, those are the first signs I uh, notice that kind of curling here, but at the same time, uh, it really, it was really hard. If you touch it, it's really kind of hard. Um, those are the first uh, things that I was noticing and that I was researching about on the internet. Um, Beside that, uh, this is um, when this leaf came out of this one. So this is the mom, <laughs> and this one came out. Uh, this is right here. So over here, that was the damage. I saw that very light um brown kind of yellow on it so i decided to put neem oil directly on it and that neem oil just uh, kind of burned uh, that spot and it was becoming dark uh, so i decided to cut it out so that is uh not uh, exactly the nicest cut but <laughs> nevertheless we did our best in that I think um, because of that we're able to save the spreading any spreading on the leaf so if we come to the newest one that's what it looks right now this one is a bit of a long story because this one took uh, quite a long time to come out so when this one came out, that's when I realized, you know, okay, we, um, thrips is in full force. We, you know, and uh, after uh, that, it took about probably, let me see, uh, seven months for this one to come out. Uh, for the longest time, uh, we did not see any aerial woods. Um, any sign that it will, would push a new leaf. Um, I was very uh, worried. I couldn't even cut uh, the, uh, this leaf because there were absolutely no aerial woods for a long time. So after doing some research, I decided to change the fertilizer that I was using. Uh, my next step 
was going to uh, change um, the soil, but I was delaying that since it's uh, winter. So when I change uh, that um, f fertilizer to a 2021, that's when uh, I started uh, seeing aerial woods, and then that's when it pushed this new leaf right here. So it came with some damages. When I saw the damages, as soon as it unfurled, I applied neem oil. So far, that's where we at. The previous leaf, uh, leaf had damage on the stem of it. It had uh, a very um, some dark dark spot on it. And those, um, so if you look over here, right here, you're going to see that's uh, the one, the one before last, that is uh, the damage uh, that you can see. So, so far on that very new one, we do not have the same type of damage on the leaf so as far as the stem as you can see right here uh, for the new leaf one came out remember as i told you the, um, the last one we had to wait seven months for for these right here and this one as uh, a week after the new leaf came out um, we had an area wood which to me is very encouraging. Um, it means that things are almost back to to normal. So um, uh, for the new sheet, it looks intact. So if you look over here, we do have a dark spot. So those are the types of damage I had on the previous stem, but uh, those were exactly where that sheet that covers the new leaf that is supposed to come out so that's where the damages were uh, this one the only spot i can see is here and uh, i've already applied some neem oil on it so that's what i will continue to do for now i mean i'm not saying that i will not use other um uh, store but uh, products but for now that's what I'll keep on doing because it's working and um, I don't know if buying store but products uh, would have changed the outcome if you do have uh, more experience with thrips please um, let me know but uh, let me know what you, what you have used I don't want to use something that is too harsh that will damage the leaf uh, but for now that's what we're using and we're treating it like that we are <laughs> doing we are over here doing surgeries or pruning whatever you want to call it uh, I would like to think of it of surgery it's more fun saying that I'm doing plant surgery instead of pruning that area, cutting that area where I think the um, we had like uh, a nest of uh, of thrips that was going to emerge before it did and treating it that way. Far, this is what I've been using as treatment um, to uh, manage uh, the thrips. Um, I use neem oil. Uh, peroxide and uh, antibacterial soap so these are just to you know put it out there I have bought with my own money they're not uh, sponsored so what I do in this bottle I only put water and uh, peroxide and uh, the soap so I wash with that and then I rinse uh, you know I let it sit for uh, a minute or two then i rinse with water then i uh, dilute some neem oil because i don't want to put the neem oil in my uh, bottle i use it uh, 
you know, sometimes to just uh, spray uh, water on plants. So I put that uh, on a on something soft like this, and um, then I wet it, and then I wipe my plants. So for the, the damages, when I see damages on the leaf, I apply the neem oil directly on it. And so far, it seems to be doing okay. And uh, for the soil, I also put like, you know, for a liter, for example, I put like a, a, a quarter of that or like a, probably like a cup uh, of uh, peroxide in that water and rinse the soil. Uh, let it sit for a minute and then and let it go just to kill whatever is in the soil and um, that's about it so after uh, doing that i realized uh, when my monstera stopped completely pushing uh, leaves i had to change my fertilizer so this is what i used so uh, once again, this is not sponsored, but uh, that's what, you know, after I researched it a bit and um, I see that I had to use uh, something stronger uh, and different than what I was using. And after I'd done that a month after, not, yeah, not even a month after or a week or two after um, it started, um, uh, pushing some aerial woods, which had also stopped when um, I wasn't using that. So it had completely, completely stopped for months. So uh, I'll put the measurement of how I use it uh, in the description box if you're interested. So overall, I'll say that, you know, we didn't have uh, a lot of damages and um whatever damage we have we can live with it so uh it is you know the uh, the curling of the leaves i mean it's not it's oh yeah it's not uh, the end of the world but um we can live with um the hardest one i think uh would that you know here I could have done a better job at uh, doing some sort of an oval shape uh, to resemble that cheese pattern, but I didn't. Uh, my um, surgery skills are not really up to par, and I could have done a better job with this one as well, but this is a big monstera and I didn't want to fall. I had to stand on a chair while trying to uh, cut it uh, with uh, a little scissor that I have. Uh, so I'm really hoping that uh, for the next leaf, I would not have to perform surgery. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and so far so good. If you have, gone through this and i hope uh, that my um, thrift story will give you hope ideas of what you can do to treat it and if you have done something different i hope you can share with us uh, as the community when we're looking because uh, having thrips can be very stressful and the more resources uh, that you have the better equipped that you are so if you are so inclined to share with us what you have done so far, as I said, I haven't uh, used anything um, that I, you know, any uh, other um, harsher chemical to treat this. I uh, opted for the organic way. I don't know if I, you know, if I did buy something from the store already made, if the outcome would have been different, maybe I wouldn't have like any damages at all. But I've compared to what other people are going through and what they've used. Uh, most people, you know, on the new leaf especially, always has some damages. 
but uh, I'm still gonna hang on to this. Maybe uh, in the future, I will need to change, uh, um, you know, the treatment that I use. But so far, that's what we've been using, and we're still standing. So uh, if you have uh, any suggestions, please share them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. You stay safe.